Second round consolations. 141 pounder Daniel Leal rocks Smith Mercyhurst in a cradle. I trained all year for this. Uh, I mean, I know I'm better than a lot of these kids, so it's a matter of being my, being my mind before I, before I get out on the mat. Melvin Hernandez gets away at 149. The sophomore escapes Mendoza from Nyack 3-1. Deep waters, right? Right? Deep so, waters. Let's go. My dream is gone, national champ right now, but it's not, my, my team's goal isn't. I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna lay down until I can do everything that I can for this team. 174, Nunez from Cali gets away from Big Blue's Michael Wagoner, gets two more late, and Wagoner is done after dropping a hard-fought 3-1 decision. Tight match at 184, the Reavers' Josh McFarlane with the only points. And McFarlane blanks e -weight from Barton, two to zip. Yeah, he was a pretty long, lengthy kid, had a pretty decent defense on his feet, but I feel like the takedown that I got kind of solidified the match for me. And finally at 285, 2-2 two -two in overtime. Colin Braun gets away and stays alive, edging Shana from Cali, 3-2. Kill or be killed, get it done for Watts, for all my teammates. And so after a close first round loss, Colin Braun still standing. Next stop, the always emotional Friday night and the fight for All-American. <laughs>